Welcome to AlpCycle's coaching basic stretch exercises. Patty is going to show you seven stretching exercises that we would like you to do at least twice a week, four times a week if you want to be an A-plus athlete. Okay, and Patty's going to start with stretching her calves with her hands against the wall. She'll lean forward and she's stretching her left calf now. You can also bend the knee to get a little bit more into your Achilles. That's perfect. And Patty's going to do a little bit of a sped up version of the stretches for the purpose of the video. But when you hold your stretches, really try to hold them for at least 15 seconds, 20 to 25 seconds would be even better in remembering to breathe. <clears throat> ah, now to the quad. Standing on one foot, so this will help your balance too. If you need to stand next to a wall, you can to hold. And really thinking about pushing her glutes forward so that she's stretching her quad. Good. And of course doing both legs. Okay, onto the floor, moving up from the quad to the hip flexor. You can see she has, she's kneeling in a bit of a forward, forward kneel, knee, <clears throat> kneel, excuse me, keeping this, this knee behind her toe and then stretching and reaching up and stretching this whole side of her body. Good. Switching, remembering to breathe. Good. Okay, and then onto the floor, and she'll stretch her glutes. This is nice, can call it the, the pretzel stretch, if you will. Patty, will you show us again how you got into that if you're started from sitting on the floor? Okay, so seated, one foot tucked under, one over, opposite hand to the knee, and then looking away from the glute that you're stretching. And I like that Patty is Swiss and she's wearing America socks. <laughs> you look very good. <laughs> okay, and then next is ah this. If you do yoga, you might call this child pose. It's really nice, relaxing. Nice to open up the chest and the lats after a long day on the bike. If you have a hard time with this much kneeling, you can sit on a pillow between your heels and your butt if that's a little easier on your knees. Okay, and we have two more stretches. One for the back. Here you grab, you bring one leg up, grab it with the opposite arm, and then pull that leg down to the ground, and you should feel a stretch all along your lower back, and perhaps the chest of the arm that's straight out on the floor. Good, and then you stretch, opposite leg, opposite arm, and pull across, remembering to breathe. Okay, and our last stretch, last major muscle group used in cycling is the hamstring. You can see here, Patty is pretty dang flexible. She's able to keep a straight leg when she, the left one that she's pulling up. If you're not as flexible as Patty and you have to keep a slight bend in the knee, that's okay. As long as you're getting a nice hamstring stretch, that's all that matters. Remember to do this two to four times a week. Plan to spend 10 to 20 to maybe 30 minutes of stretching. And this combined with foam rolling will really aid in recovery, injury prevention, and helping you perform even better on the bicycle. Thank you very much, Patty.